Welcome again, folks. Have you ever wondered how people are making game bots for mobile apps? They even do it without interaction with an actual mobile device, which is crazy. In this another quick but super exciting video, I will show you how to use Python to automate the any Android emulator with ADB commands. So I guess you have at least basic Python knowledge, so I will explain the other two components with simple single sentence. An Android emulator is a virtual device that simulates an Android phone or tablet on a computer, allowing developers to test and run apps without needing a physical device. A DB, Android Debug Bridge, is a command line tool that allows developers to communicate with and control Android devices or emulators for debugging, file transfers, and automation. So, you're already halfway to becoming a Python mobile automation guru. Now, let me show you the fun part in practice. In this example, I've downloaded Bluestacks 5 emulator, which is free and quick to set up. Once the emulator is running, we need to open it, go to options, and ensure ADB is activated. It even displays the IP and port for ADB, which we'll use to connect. I've opened PyCharm with a new project and created a class called Emulator Controller, which does the following, connects to the emulator. We simply connect to the IP and port we saw earlier. The code verifies that the device is connected, and if it's not found or fails to connect, we have super duper logging to save time troubleshooting sets the screen resolution. This method ensures we always work with the same resolution. So even if we use hard-coded X and Y coordinates, which isn't best practice, of course, they will still be accurate. Finds the package name of an app. This method searches for an app by name and retrieves its unique Android package name, which we use to launch the app. Launches the app. Maybe you already guessed it. This method is used to launch the app using its package name simulates user interactions like clicks and text input. The methods click botch.button and type touch.txt have self-explanatory names, so I won't even bother explaining them. Let's start by connecting to the emulator using the connect device method. If the connection is successful, we'll see it in the console. If not, we'll also see an error message. Okay, we have successfully connected to the Android emulator. That means we can start executing our commands. In this super duper easy example, we are going to set the resolution, find the package name of an app that starts with notes, run the app, click several buttons to open the note editor, create a new note. Let's try it out. I ran the script and the results look as expected. We successfully open the app and created a new note with the text, Hello World. Currently, we are writing Python code to automate the Android app. That's it for today's video. If you're interested in more Python automation and GameBot development episodes, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments so we can prepare even more advanced videos. See ya, folks. Bye-bye.